everybody, it's Kenji Bus again, and today I'm going to be showing off the latest acquisition in my collection of stupid trinkets and non-essential things I have no business buying, the Pokeball! Now you might be wondering what the hell is so crazy about this Pokeball, it's just a plain Jane Pokeball. Well here's the thing, the wand company uh, reached out to, uh, what is it, uh, TPCI or something? Basically just Nintendo's property of Pokemon and Game Freak and all that. They basically worked with them trying to get a proper uh, feel for what an actual Pokeball would be like in real life. I'm talking about the dimensions, color, the weight, the size, the feel, the girth, and uh, like how Randy Mars likes to say, the yaw, the yaw of the Pokeball. It's by the angle or the, what do we call it again? The yaw, the yaw of the shaft. Now consider this is a high grade quality replica Pokeball, and to my knowledge, one of the most realistic iterations of a Pokeball out there. This is going to be using some high grade quality shit. I'm talking about die cast zinc and high quality lacquer and ABS. And I'm just reading off the wand company website at this point. All right, at this point, I'm pretty sure I'm losing you guys. So for the sake of my retention rate for this video, I'm just going to crack this open. Uh, by the way, there's also more Pokeballs on the horizon coming out this year. Uh, there is also a Master Ball that was released uh, alongside this Pokeball, but those are in very limited qu uh, quantities. I think there's like 5,000 release. Um, not to say that these aren't any personalized or anything. They're, th these are uh, serialized individually, um, just way more uh, production. Here's a little booklet or something, I guess. Cool. Look at that in a little bit. And of course, there are more Pokeballs to be released. This one was released on the 27th of February, uh, which is the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. So there's that. Uh, look at this. Whoa. Okay. Nice and easy. Well, I'll be damned. Here it is. Wow, that actually has a... Wow, this is very heavy. Holy shit, look at the heft on this. Holy crap. And of course, it is accompanied with its display case, which has a nice rising platform feature whenever you open up the case. And then underneath, there is the uh, serialization, the unique marking or whatever for each one of these uh, individual Pokeballs. Pretty neat. It has this nice little holographic Pokemon shenanigan going on there um of course there is the uh pull tab for the display case and then the pull tab as well for the pokeball so we're cooking now all right before we go into how the actual pokeball looks like inside its display case i want to check out a couple more things that come with the actual packaging like this uh instruction guide or something because there's also a secret item that comes with the case itself, but I can't find it at all. Um, well, there it is. A bunch of things of how this works. Riveting. All right, I want to show this off because these warning labels really try to drive it home. The fact that not to throw the damn Pokeballs. Please don't be throwing the damn Pokeball at your dog or your cat expecting it to vaporize into red mist forever to be imprisoned in a damn pokeball it's not gonna fucking happen all right so i finally found the uh, quote-unquote secret item it's just basically a oversized wedding band for your pokeball to have another way of displaying it well i'll be damned all right time for the grand reveal rillaboom can you get a drum roll please ta-da it's a Pokeball. <laughs> Boy, Wan Company, you sure you sure knocked it out of the park this time around. But uh, yeah, all jokes aside, the Wan Company did a pretty good job on this. It feels amazing in hand. Um, you know, and more importantly, it does come with batteries included, which is very clutch in their behalf. Uh, but yeah, the Wan Company usually knocks it out of the park where all of their products, most notably their Fallout stuff, uh, they have a bunch of the uh, fallout of vehicles like the Nuka-Cola truck, the, the what's it called, the Sarsaparilla, the Sunset Sarsaparilla crate truck, the civilian cars, uh, they have like a Pip-Boy as well, 
Um, they also have, like, stuff, like, for other nerds of other genres, like uh, Harry Potter, you know. They have stuff for Star Trek as well, so they have a bunch of sci-fi and fantasy stuff. Um, check them out. I am in no way, shape, or form sponsored by the one company, but I'm still waiting on an email from them. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm really happy with this acquisition. What else can I say? Dope. Okay, that's gonna do it for me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Um, if you have a suggestion, please, I insist, leave it down below in the comment section. Um, I'm open to, well, opening up more stuff like this. You know, these types of trinkets and doohickeys. I'm a big fan of, uh, and I like showcasing them with... Whoever the hell stumbles across my channel. Um, and yeah, uh, I'll be seeing you around probably with like a Pokemon opening or something. Until then, I'm Ken. Take it easy. See you. Peace.